So today I'm talking about a P0236 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0236 code? Well, it's a turbocharger supercharger boost sensor A circuit range performance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically many vehicles, they come with a turbocharger and the turbocharger helps to increase the air going into the engine. And the basics of how this works is that the engine's going to start up and exhaust gases are going to start to come out the exhaust. These exhaust gases are going to get pushed down to the turbo, which is going to start to spin it. The spinning motion is going to spin the other side, which is going to be used to bring air in. And this outside air is going to get pushed in. It's going to go through what's called the intercooler. And basically, all this compressed air can get very hot. And so it needs to be cooled down before it goes into the engine. So it goes through what's called the intercooler, which is basically like a radiator. It just cools the air. And then all this air is going to get pushed into the engine, which is going to greatly increase the amount of air that's going into the engine. And when that happens, the computer can increase the gas that's going into the engine, which is going to allow the engine to produce more power. So a lot of manufacturers use this to increase the amount of power that engine could produce. And a very important part of a turbo is going to be what's called a wastegate. And basically to control how much exhaust gases are going down to the turbo and to control how fast it's spinning, there's what's called a wastegate, which basically the computer just opens up to redirect the exhaust gases around the turbo and on out the exhaust. And that's the way the computer controls how fast that turbo is spinning. So that's a real basic overview of what's going on with the turbo. There can be different types of turbos. There could be different types of designs and things like this. So if you do go to work on a turbo on a vehicle, be sure to get a diagram for that specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on with it. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0236 code? Well, the first thing to go and do is be sure that that air filter where the turbo's pulling air into the engine, that it's good, that it's not all clogged up or anything like this. If that gets really dirty and it gets all clogged up or anything like that, then that can affect how much air that turbocharger can pull into the engine and that could cause problems. So the first thing to do is go check that air filter. And the next thing that could cause this is some kind of problem going on with the turbocharger. And with this P0236 code, this is mainly going to have to do with the wastegate. This is the wastegate right here, and the computer is opening and shutting this to control the speed of the turbo. And if there's some kind of issue going on with this wastegate, and it's stuck open or stuck shut, or just having some kind of problem, then that's going to cause issues. And one of the main components that could cause this is what's called the wastegate actuator, which basically pushes down or pulls up on that wastegate to open and shut it. If there's some kind of problem going on with that wastegate actuator or with that wastegate, then that can cause problems. So the next thing on the list is going to be that that turbocharger is having some kind of problem. And this is mainly going to have to do with that wastegate. And the next thing that could cause is that there's an intake air leak. And basically all the air going into the engine should be going in through that turbocharger in the throttle body. And if for some reason the air is getting in around this, then that's going to cause problems. That's going to throw everything off. And so this would be something like a leaky hose, a bad PCV valve, or something along those lines. So the next thing on the list is going to be an intake air leak. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad turbocharger boost pressure sensor. That sensor might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced, or the wiring going to it. If there's any kind of problem with the wiring, open, short, you got a bad connection, then that can cause problems too. The location of the sensor is really going to vary. You will need to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know where it's located and what's going on. But the next thing that's going to cause this is a bad turbocharger boost pressure sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that another sensor has gone bad and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer and it's just throwing everything off and it's just causing problems. So this would be something like a bad map sensor, intercooler temp sensor, borrow sensor, or something like that. Again, what sensors are being used and what's going on is going to vary a bit. It's going to depend between vehicles for exactly which sensors there are and which one the computer's using. Also, usually when another sensor does go bad, usually you're going to get another code. So, for example, if you also got like a P0105 manifold absolute pressure barometric pressure circuit, then in that case, it's a good idea to go check out that manifold absolute pressure sensor, do some tests and be sure it's working correctly, because the next thing that could cause this is that there's another bad sensor or the wiring going to them. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0236 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.